Hey, good morning. We're here at Apex Motor Club, one of the clubs that I'm a member at. Uh, this is a Z28R that I just bought from Black Dog Speed Shop. Uh, it's going to be our first day on the track. So David right now is just checking with uh, Motec, make sure everything's looking good. And we got Nick here as well, uh, works at Scott McLaren. Nick, who else do you work for? What team are you helping me in, uh, uh, as a mechanic? World Challenge, Zaylus Motorsports. There you go. Uh, GT3 Huracans, fun stuff. Yeah, so he's helped me with my uh, Radical RXC GT3 car. And uh, so just great guy, great mechanic, great friend. So, um, but today should be fun driving this. We uh, are gonna weigh it so we know what we weigh at. I think we'll fall into GT2. Um, Ray at Black Dog Speed Shop took the restrictor plate off that they ran the Pirelli World Challenge. Uh, so we are running 517 crank horsepower, which will relate to about, we think about 440, 450, maybe wheel horsepower. If it does, and we weigh in at the right amount with gas and me in the car, we should be in the GT2 class. So um, if it runs well today, we'll actually be running that. And we'll get video foot, footage on that in another uh, series. So stay tuned. And uh, that'll be a double header race in, a, in about seven days from now. Hey guys, we just took the car out for the first time, uh, got the tires warmed up. We started with the P0s at 28 and now we're about almost 31. We really wanna be at 31, 32, but it's a cold morning, track's still cold. Uh, we'll do another 15, 20 minute session, see where we're at. Uh, it's my first time doing a three pedal car in years. I actually had a 2015 Z28, uh, it's the street car. You could probably see it in my prior uh, YouTube uh, videos. So the street version of this car. And uh, so that's the last time I was shifting a three pedal car. So uh, it's coming back to me. So it feels pretty good. Uh, I do miss it. Uh, so that's one of the big benefits of having this car is doing it. 
Um, but yeah, so far it feels good. We'll probably get some lap times down. Uh, we gotta get the transponder working in the car. Let's pick up to the Apex Motor Club track and uh, we'll see how the next uh, few laps go the next time we're out. All right, so as you can see, we had a great time in the Z28R. Um, I gotta thank Ray from Black Dog Speed Shop. Um, amazing car. Uh, they've been great to work with in the purchase of the vehicle. Um, got tons of spares with the purchase as well. Um, we seriously didn't have one issue with it. Um, the only thing that we had to do for Apex Motor Club is just upload uh, the track so we could get the uh, lap timer working. Um, and that's it, totally turnkey. Um, you know, it's funny, it's the first time in three, four years that I've driven a manual, a three pedal car, and uh, it came back pretty quick. Uh, so, feel pretty good in the car. Uh, we're gonna do the race next weekend. It's a double header race at Apex Motor Club. There's about eight really good guys that have had two seasons in the GT2 class ahead of me. So, we'll see how we do. Um, I still think it'll just be fun, and that's what it's all about anyway. Be cool if we bring some hardware home, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm just really impressed with that car. Uh, one thing that's really wild with that car 
and I don't remember it when I had my 2015, it was the brakes. Um, you really gotta put all your weight on those brakes to get that car stopped with the carbon ceramics. Um, the car is running Padges, like a really, supposedly a better compound than the stock compound uh, pa brake pads. Um, but man, uh, you really gotta just stand on those brakes to get it to, to stop fast. Um, the speed of the car feels really good um, for an NA car. We had Ray uh, make sure that it's running correctly and he did a dyno, it was 517 to the crank. So I'm not sure what it is to the wheels. You could comment below, um, but we're assuming it's probably gonna be 440 to 450 wheel horsepower. Um, and with that and the weight of the vehicle, um, that should put us in the GT2 class. Um, so pretty exciting, love the car. Um, blessed to have it since there's only five of them out there in the world. Um, Cooper, it's Cooper's car. If you look in the Pirelli World Challenge, he won like Coda and, it's, and things like that. So just an amazing car, super fun to drive. Um, one thing too that you're gonna see that we're gonna be posting is next week, we just finished with the Motec system uh, in the RTR Mustang. Um, and uh, that went really well today. We did the final testing to make sure everything worked at the track. And we'll post that next Saturday for you guys. Um, so stay tuned on that. And uh, we were gonna do a comparison today of the Z28R against the street legal RTR, um, but it just wouldn't be fair because the tires that are on the RTR are old and we need to compare it probably with R7s or A7 Hoosiers on the RTR. And that one's running 315, 18s in the front, 335 in the rear, where we're running P0 slicks, 305 squared on the uh, Z28R. So um, we'll be really interested to see. I think it's gonna be really close with those two. Um, the straights, the RTR feels faster, obviously with 670 wheel horsepower. Um, and then obviously they're both rock solid in the turns, uh, really no body roll with either of them. They both feel really, really good. Um, and brakes feel really good. Um, the brakes on the RTR might they feel better, which is crazy to me. Um, with those Willwood uh, six, six piston brakes. So I could be wrong. It's look, feel, sounds totally different than what the numbers will do. And so what we'll do in that video, um, we'll do literally onboard camera for both and have them start at the exact same time on the track. And then we'll see for ourselves which car is gonna be fast on the straight, if any car is gonna make up time on the turns, things like that. Um, so it'll be really interested to see within probably a couple seconds of each other, I bet, um, which one will do better. Um, obviously for a race car, the Z28R has been made and has been extremely successful running 50 minute races. Um, and the RTR being supercharged, I think you'll probably only get 20 minutes going balls out in it in cool weather before it gets a little heat soak. Um, I could be wrong, we'll see. So uh, stay tuned for that. We'll have that hopefully soon and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.